Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 16th of 2024 is titled Meteor Borealis. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the sky and the bright stars in the middle actually highlight the Big Dipper. So you see the handle of the dipper stretching out toward the left hand side and at the top of that the highest star in the dipper would be the two the double star Mizar and Alcor and you can see the second star very close to the first there and one of the tests of eyesight would be if you can see that with the naked eye if you can actually see two stars there instead of just one. Now the bowl of then is off to the right hand side and that is one of the most common asterisms in uh, in astronomy and one of the objects in the sky that people can often identify. An asterism is a grouping of stars so it's not a constellation. It may be a part of a constellation such as the Big Dipper is part of the constellation of Ursa Major or it may span several constellations. It may involve bright stars in multiple constellations. Now, of course, streaking across the Big Dipper there, we see one of the Perseid meteors. And we can see that stretching across the sky there. And that was from the Perseid meteor shower just a few days ago. And in fact, this was taken on August 12th. So just four days ago was this image. Now, the Perseids were peaking at that time when you'd have the most meteors streaking across the sky and the best chance of catching one in an image like this. Since we can predict that the meteor shower will occur, but not when any specific meteor will strike any part of the sky, so we just have to take a picture and kind of hope that you will get something that comes through uh, at that exact time while you're taking the picture. Now with longer exposures, you have a better chance of being able to pick up uh, meteors such as this one. Now the other thing we see here is the aurora and we can see the greenish glow of the aurora down below closer to the horizon and the reddish to even purple glow up higher above. Now the aurora is caused by solar storms which then send charged particles out and if they happen to go in the direction of Earth they may strike Earth's magnetic field and funnel along that toward the north and south celestial poles. So that's why we have the aurora borealis or northern lights and the aurora australis or southern lights so they can occur in both hemispheres but they tend to be close to those magnetic poles as those are the regions where the magnetic field lines come come into Earth's atmosphere, allowing those charged particles to excite atoms within Earth's atmosphere. So most of the say equatorial regions are well protected by strong magnetic fields that buffer all of those particles away. Now the more intense the solar storm, the farther south these would then be visible. So you could actually see them farther south. And that would occur when you have very intense storms that would deform Earth's magnetic field, making them visible at much further more southerly latitudes. So that was our picture of the day for August 16th of 2024. It was titled Meteor Borealis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.